Hello, this is Sue Brooke coming to you live from Sebastopol, California, beautiful Sonoma County. How are you today? Um, I, okay, so I'm a little speechless because I just met with um, John David. He owns Can Do, K N D U Body Works. Uh, you can go to CanDoBodyWorks.com. I just had a great um, kind of a marketing business strategy session with him. I He has an amazing detox suites with all kinds of cool, um, holistic, alternative types of healthcare, uh, all kinds of really cool stuff. He has a lot of different practitioners in this beautiful space in Bennett Valley um, up here in Sonoma, like in Santa Rosa. Anyway, I so I had a like a two hours we were talking and he he did this cool detox thing on me and we just talked a lot about just uh, getting the word out and about about business and so we were talking about business we were talking about um, marketing and getting the word out about all these amazing amazing holistic and alternative practitioners and how difficult it is to get the word out and help you know people that maybe don't don't know about those types of alternatives, those types of choices in um, their, for their health care or to really pain or whatever. And so I was, I, the whole time we were together, we were talking and, and he was telling me his challenges and, and the other people's challenges with their business. And you know, I, I always, when I go through this, I feel this thing in my body. Sometimes it just, I just want to cry. Like I get all these emotional things that come up and, and I just feel, it, it's just weird how that happens, and I never really thought about it. Um, the other day, I was meeting with a, a lady I met for the first time who has a music school, and she does everything. She has no help. She gets up in the morning. She goes to her studio. She teaches classes till like 9 or 10 at night. She drives home. She does all the marketing. She does her, her website. She does everything, and she barely takes time for herself. And I remembered, I, like I went back, and I remembered when I had my tutoring business, and I literally, I mean, was sitting at a table with kids in front of me and a phone in one ear and another phone in another ear and the computer here and parents coming in and, and I was doing everything in my business everything and guess what happened I got hit by a truck okay I literally got hit in my little Volkswagen Beetle with a truck and I was out I was out for for a long time and my business totally stopped and there was no more income because I was my business and when I talk to other business owners who are doing the same thing, like the lady with the music school, literally for the next day or two, I just, there was this weird thing in my body. I like wanted to cry at the, you know, just thinking about it. And I just, it, I couldn't understand why I was feeling this emotion, like this intense emotion um, surrounding that. And I didn't even really know it was from that. And I started feeling that today. And he started talking about empaths. And I'm like, you know what, this is so bizarre, because that's been coming to me recently. I've been seeing things about empaths. I didn't know what it was, honestly. So I said, what's the definition of an empath? Because I, I, I just would like to know. And he told me that it, it's you can take on someone else's pain, you, you actually physically feel their pain. And so you can understand so well what they're going through. And he was talking about how he can with, um, with people's injuries or wounds or things like that. And with me, when I'm, when I work with business owners, it's like I can so feel what they're going through. It's so, I take it so personally that I feel it for a long time after we even done with our meeting. So I guess I'm an empath. I don't know. I would love to know if you are, um, if you understand that whole term or if you have it or what it is or your thoughts around it or whatever. But this is new to me. Um, and for those of you who probably think I'm actually crazy, but, um, <laughs> I, I, it finally makes me understand if this is true, that I'm a true empath, that now I understand why it affects me so incredibly deeply when I talk to business owners about their business. Um, mostly because I just thought it was because I totally have been there <laughs> more than once. So anyway, I would love to talk to you about your business. I would love to see how I can help you. And uh, I would like to know more about this whole empath thing. So, hey, Victoria, good to see you. I want to talk to you. I'm actually free now for the rest of the day. If any of you guys want to chat with me this afternoon, I'm here. Um, or you want to set up a Zoom meeting where I can 
can I would love to talk to you about your business. It's just in my heart and my soul. So anyway, I love you guys. Thanks for joining me today. I just had to come on and do a quick live and and say that I think that's what I am. So are you? I want to know. Tell me about it. Okay. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.